Hello guys, Megagoth1702 here again and in this video I'll be taking a shot at explaining Network Smoothing Factor in Battlefield 3. Uh, I'll try to explain what it does and show you guys clear examples of the settings, which is, I think, something that's missing from every other video talking about this. The Network Smoothing Factor is this little slider up here, guys, which you can uh, pull all the way to the left, disabling it, or pull it all the way to the right to maximize it, and you can obviously choose values in between. What the setting on maximum seems to do is it delays the animations of everything around you by maybe 100 milliseconds, I don't know. And it does that in order to provide you a very fluid gameplay experience and picture. You've probably seen this, um, people jerking around, legging around, you know, just jumping from spots to spots and it, feel, it feels a bit jittery. So basically this is what it does, this is what it, it, it wants to um, remove basically, yeah. Problem though is the delay, man because it only delays the animations, not the damage dealt to you by the enemies. So if an enemy comes around the corner, and in his game, he's just coming around the corner, he's shooting you in your leg as soon as he sees you, and he pops back into cover, what you're gonna see is, if you put the network smoothing factor on maximum, you're gonna get hit. Then the guy will come around the corner, and maybe not even his whole body, and then he will disappear again. You want an example? Here you go. I will start with a network smoothing factor on zero, then I will increase it to a half, which is maybe a 50 milliseconds delay, and then I will increase it to the maximum. Watch what happens. I wanna fuck him up! <laughs> shoot me, goddammit! I don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> no, shoot me, I got enough medpacks. Aiming for your balls. Oh, this is, this is good, man. Seriously, now. Do it now, do it again. Dude, seriously, why would you play with anything else than zero? Hold on, I got it on 50%. Make it 100. Do it again. I still have it on zero. Yeah, I know. Fuck that shit. Did you notice it? Did you see it? With the network smoothing factor on zero, I received the damage pretty much at the same time when Flynn shot me. When I increased it to 50%, you had a little, a little delay, you know. I, I got shot, or I got hit before he shot the, uh, the weapon. And when I put it on maximum, I got a big delay, man. I got hit, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I actually see him and hear him shoot the gun. That's stupid, right? So, what's the conclusion? If you're just playing Battlefield like a couple of minutes a day, you know, you don't really give a fuck. You can just, and you just, you know, you just enjoy the game. You can just keep it on maybe 50 or 100 percent because you'll have a smoother experience. But if you're trying to play a little bit more serious, play the objective, you know, if you're like on Bazaar or something, you're peeking corners and shit. It's really about all those split second reactions, you know, and it's not, it's kind of not fair to get damage from a guy who you don't even see, you know. So. I personally play with the network smoothing factor on zero all the time. I don't mind the jerkiness, fuck it. At least I want to see people when they shoot me. I want their most true positions and it, it's, you know, it's possible. So why not use it? So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope now you kind of understand what this setting does and how to use it properly. Spread this video to the people who don't know about it and if you, you think they should know about it. And I don't even mind if you show this to your mama. Alright guys, Megagoth out. See you on the battlefield. Bye.